everyone, Imdio here. Welcome back to Magic Maiden. I'm sitting here underground right now, just looking for a few things. And after coal, because I need lots of coal for coal things. Coal is tasty and sweet. I'm also after redstone. I don't have much redstone. I thought I'd just come look underground and see if I could find any. Of course, I'm going to grab any ores that I come across, and I'm going to grab anything that piques my interest besides uh oh I threw that out never mind there I didn't want that here toss you in lava take off the hat so I don't pick it up goodbye sapling I turned on the camera because I found this piece of grass down here I'm wondering if there's something to do with the grass that's down here this would be a good place to set up a base if I wanted grass underground, though. This is pretty much right under my castle. Oop. Uh, that is. I'm not really seeing anything other than the grass, though. Just something decided to put grass randomly down in the bottom of the place. Oop. Essence fairies. Take those. Yeah, I'm not actually seeing anything down here other than cave. In grass. Not that I mind there not being anything worthwhile down here. It's just I was expecting there to be a dungeon or some loot or something else worth grabbing. Well, I do have iron. Let me grab all that I can. This really isn't efficient using a fortune smelt pick to gather everything. I've only got fortune 2 on here besides. But it works. And it's going to clog up my inventory pretty darn quickly. So I've got the maid with me. I'm going to grab all these. Grab that, this, that, and the other thing. Ah. I have something in mind for the redstone. The redstone seems to be hardest to come across, though. And I don't think there's any way to manufacture redstone. Wait. Redstone. I can get it from redstone blocks. Redstone ore. And that's about it. So my only option, really, is to go, oh, adventuring, or to go caving. As such, we're caving. More grass. Well, since there's grass down here, I am definitely going to have to do something with it. There's some really big caves in here, too. If I just grab all the materials... That's not redstone. Dang you, you're not redstone. But if I grab all the materials, then I can set up a good base down here. This is already pretty large and sprawling. It's all... It's got lots of space down here. Diamonds! Diamonds! Well, these things aren't worth very much, but I'll take them. Got a lapis. Coal. And I don't really have to take any of the stone, since there's big open caverns. I just need resources. I wish there was more redstone down here, though. I've got 45 so far. I've gotten more coal than I have redstone. I've gotten more ingots. Where's all the redstone at? Oh. Oh ho. I have found stone bricks. What's in here? This is a dungeon of some sort. This is what I was looking for earlier, but I haven't found any. Oh. Say hello to... Oh. <laughs> this is the dungeon that's right below the place. Yeah, I just broke into it from the other side. Well, nuts to that. Getting quite a bit of redstone, though. I have 64 plus 42. You're not carrying any. Getting lots of essence berries. Any more redstone down here? Nope. Nope. Plenty of coal, though. Coal blocks, here we come. There seems to be this thing about caving. The further in you go, the more things you find and the more ways you can go. So you go in even further, and you end up in a never-ending cycle of, I need to collect materials. I need to get out. Wait, there's more materials. Wait, there's things over here. Let's go explore it. Wait, there's something else to do. And you just sort of get caught up in it forever. 
You can sort of mitigate this by only picking certain materials you want to pick up. Like down here, I'm only picking up ores. And I've got plenty of coal, so I can keep going with the light. I don't need to worry about torches. Although, that's going to be weird. Uh, one thing that would keep you from going on in vanilla is the amount of torches that you bring down. You run out, so you need to get out and go get more. Here, not so much. More diamonds, more lapis, redstone, more grass. Sheesh. I didn't want to go over there. Do -do. A hall. Not only do we have grass down here, we have tall grass. It's interesting. Everywhere down here feels like it's the start of something like a uh, underground village the resistance I rule over the lands with an iron fist and there are villagers down here that resist my reign this would be a great place for them they'd have grass they have all the things they need like food water shelter they eat rats rats come up from the lava they eat the lava monsters, too, after they've turned them into obsidian. No? No, that doesn't sound good. They turn them into tools, and they fight me with... Well, they're trying to. They don't have the ability to get out of here yet. It's a hard life. They're stuck. They're basically abandoned and forgotten. So they don't have anything on the outside worth living for. There's nothing to come up for, except maybe to see the sun. And they really want to see the sun. It's not something that they've ever seen. If you, These people have spent way too long underground. They have basically become accustomed to it. Their skin is pale. Their food is, consists of mushrooms. No, no, no! Over here! Gah! Did you die? Tell me you're not dead. No. You're just stunned. Get out of the lava! Get out of the lava! Ow! No, get me out of the lava! Gar. Okay, you're gonna follow me this way. And we go explore that vanilla dungeon thing. Come over here. Come over here. Here, over here. Come here. Come here, you nameless maid. Or... Uh... Okay. I am really liking all the grass down here. Ooh, spider! I need some string. Spider, spider. Is there any string in here? More string. Oh, my inventory is full now. Bread, name tags, end powder, knowledge fragment. Hey, can you hold any of my things? Yeah, hold some of those. I'll pick this up. Grab that. I don't know about the knowledge fragment. I do want the string though. The string. It's valuable for what I want to do. More essence berries. Now we've gotten sidetracked and... Ow! Spider! I really do want to build a little underground area for some sort of resistance down here. Well, that's interesting. I found a lava pit. Buy a lava pit. Ooh, lapis. Ooh. So let's look down here first. Oh, ow! Fire! Fire bad! Fire! Yeah. This, this just looks like a lava lake. One of those random generated structures that resemble lakes. Yeah, nothing back here. Some coal. I like coal. And there's some lapis over there. Yeah. The maids make me nervous about this. It's not so much that I'm scared of falling in lava myself. What? Hi. I said I'm scared of the maids falling in lava. Now this is bedrock. This looks like a bedrock... Um, poison thing? I found poison. Poison next to lava. 
This is the safest place in the entire world. And there's a bat burning to death somewhere. Somewhere. I wonder if I can reach that from here. Uh, her. Near. Yes. Come to me. Can't reach that one. Oh well. I have a theory regarding redstone. Now redstone is found near lava. It's at the same layer. Whenever you find diamonds or redstone, you will usually find lava near them. And lava is pretty darn red already. My theory is that redstone is actually crystallized lava that's been degraded and turned back into dust. So it hardened over time. It's sort of like obsidian. And then it broke down. This makes it sort of like fossil fuel. But we have... The process of lava turning into something else. Maybe it just gets compressed under the stone. And that compression eventually breaks down the material and turns it into something else. So lava is obsidian. Or obsidian is lava. Oh! Ow! Oh, my hat broke so I can't get those. Here, grab that. I'm getting plenty of redstone now though. There's a lava monster there. Leave him alone. So if lava and redstone are the same material, then what we could do is we could take lava and we could crystallize it somehow. And we could compress it. We have lava crystals. Those are blaze powder, though. Not quite the same. Uh, we would have to take the lava and maybe squeeze all of the impurities out of it. And then we'd have to put some of the redstone with it to give it like a seed. And then we mix it all up. Then we try and add the things back in because the process of being squished over time in being squished to the point where it just turns into blah. You can't replicate that very easily. You could try heat, but eventually the thing's going to run out of heat. So, no furnace. Instead of that, we could try... Shoving it in, like, between pistons. We can smash some lava between pistons for long enough. If we can avoid it turning into obsidian, then it'll turn into this gel-like substance. We take the gel, and we work it some more, and we smash it, and eventually the gel is just going to turn into redstone, because it's not going to be elastic anymore. It's going to lose all of its properties. And when it starts doing that, and it breaks down, then we have redstone dust! Which means we need redstone gel, and you're entirely full of things now. I think my mining trip is coming to an end. I've been lighting up pretty much everything down here. And I've got plenty of redstone, I've got lots of coal, lots of iron. I've come up with multiple theories on both the resistance and how redstone is formed. So, and maybe a possible way to replicate it, but that'll require some research. I will need to research how redstone works and how it becomes from one thing to the other. I could be entirely wrong here too. Instead of redstone being lava, it could be some other material entirely. Maybe it's coal. It's just been coal that's heated up to the point where it can't burn. So it breaks down. <laughs> I get the feeling that it's going to break down, which is why it's dust. Whatever it came from is dust. Or maybe... Nah, it's probably just broken. Okay, well, I'm going to light this up. Poke it around for a little bit more obsidian. Obsidian. Uh, redstone. Looks like I'm pretty close to the bottom down here. Some lapis, too. Yeah! And... No, 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 don't do that! Don't... Okay, better. Yeah. Get away from the lava monsters. And I should probably get out of here. I've got all the materials I need. No! No! I'm, I'm safe. I'm fine. I can't help myself. I want the last bit of things here. 
There is nowhere else for me to explore, so I'm grabbing every bit that I can. Okay, now we really do need to get out of here before the lava monsters kill me. Up, up, fly, jump, swim, and I take it back. Hi, more cave. <laughs>